Hey, Melvin, do you want to join us for some division at Farmer Fred's barnyard? Yeah, sure, Maisie. Woof, woof. Farmer Fred's rectangular barn is 2,436 square feet, and it is 58 feet long. We need to figure out how wide the barn is. Yeah, let's use the strategy of an area model for this division, Maisie. Yeah, good idea, Melvin. So our problem is 2,436 divided by 58. The first thing that you need to do when you're using an area model to help you with division is to draw a rectangle. Since the length of the barn is 58, I'll write 58 at the top of the rectangle. I also need to know some facts about my divisor. For example, 58 times 1 is 58. 58 times 10 is 580. 58 times 100 would be one more zero. It would be 5,800, which is greater than my dividend, so I don't need to use that fact. So with the area model, we're going to take out areas of 580 from the total until we have less than that. Then we will take out areas of 58 until our remainder is either zero or at least less than 58. So I'll begin by taking out an area of 580. That is 58 times 10. And the 10 is called a partial quotient. It's not our final quotient answer, but it's a part of it. Next, I subtract 580. Be careful with your subtraction. I can take out another set of 580. I write 58 times 10 to keep up with my partial quotient. And I subtract 580. Keep doing this until we have less than 580. You can go one more time. I cannot take out any more sets of 580, but I can take out a set of 58. So I'll write 58 times 1, and I still subtract. I can take out one more set of 58. Yay, I have a zero remainder. The last step is to add all of your partial quotients to get the final answer. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42. If you understand the standard algorithm, it's probably faster than using the area model. Yeah, let's do another problem. Farmer Fred obtained 3,904 ounces of milk from his six cows today. A quart is 32 ounces. How many quarts of milk did Farmer Fred obtain from his cows today? This is a division problem. So it's 3,904 divided by 32. Let's use the standard algorithm for this problem. So you need to look at the first two digits only and think of it as the number 39. Ask yourself, how many times will 32 go into 39? Just once. Then multiply. 1 times 32 is 32. We're going to subtract and bring down the next digit. Next, we need to ask ourselves, well, how many times will 32 go into 70? I'm not sure. So I'm going to make a list of my multiples of 32. So 32 plus 32 is 64. If I add another 32, that is 96. So this is 32 times 1, 32 times 2, and 32 times 3. So 32 will go into 72 times. Then we multiply. 2 times 32 is 64. We're going to subtract. Bring down the next digit. 32 will go into 64 two times. We subtract. And yay, we have a zero remainder. So Farmer Fred got 122 quarts of milk from his cows today. Yeah. Okay, kids, now it's your turn to try some problems. Woof, woof.